The war on vice is about initiation. It's about moving from vice to virtue. Vice to virtue. It's about breaking away from vice, and it's about atoning with the Father. And in this pattern of traditional masculine initiation, there are four elements, four pillars. Sacred space, ritual elder, communitas, ritual process. I want to talk to you for a moment about a project that I put forth and I've been working with hundreds of men at this point and carrying them through this process of masculine initiation using these pillars. And if what I'm describing sounds like something that you might benefit from, I invite you to go to my website, waronvice.com. I'm not looking for every man, but I'm looking for a man that understands that what I'm saying is true. A man who has already perhaps experienced a sort of breakthrough. I've achieved somewhat somehow in my life, but still something subsides. Still, I get caught up in vice. And if you understand that this process of breaking away from vice, but then building virtue, atoning with the Father, ascending as a man might be for you, then listen closely. Sacred space is about a pattern interrupt and creating boundaries around yourself for growth. In order for a man to grow, it's almost like it needs to be in, the, in a hot container like an oven. What happens when you open an oven after you turn it on? The heat escapes. There needs to be consolidation of our mind and our energy and our focus. That's so hard to do in this day when there's so many damn distractions. That's why our ancestors would pluck the boy up out of society and take him up to the mountain. But can we do that? Probably not. And so what I've created is a private app. Most of you guys don't know this. This is something that has been unfolding for the past six months or so, almost a year. And so this is our sacred space. You create sacred space in your home, and I'm going to show you how. But we also create sacred space for what? For eldership and for communitas. I'll tell you about that, those next two in a moment. So sacred space. Sacred space, as I'm doing my best to try to bring forth and recreate masculine initiation in our digital age, which, trust me, I understand it's pseudo-initiation. It's not the peak of what we really need, but I'm, I'm trying my best here, and I want to reach as many men as possible. So if you scoff at the idea of a sacred space being within inside an app, then you tell me how you're going to do better. Like I said, we'll do some live events, but we need to get this process going right now, especially if your life is on the line. So there's no distractions inside my app. It's not a Facebook group or a Telegram group where you're getting pings and notifications from other silly things. Next step is ritual eldership. I've been called to this place. I've been put through the ringer so that I could stand in this place and so that I could stand in for you. I got a lot of work to do. I'm still on my way. But there's a lot that I've experienced. There's a lot that I know. There's a lot that I've learned. And there's a lot of men that I've saved. I'm not a savior, but I can point to the savior. I can point to the way. I can lead by example. And that's what I've done to this day. I'm with you every step of the way through the initiation process that's happening inside our ritual process. I'm there with the men multiple times a week. We have multiple Zoom meetings a week. We have awards assembly monthly. You have direct access to me through the app. And I carry you through a process. We're gonna get to that in a moment. And so you're getting lessons every single day. You're getting accountability from step three, a community. What communitas is really what community is, but with an elevated sense. Because when you're working towards a common goal or struggling in the same way as other men, there's a bond that is born. If you need a shoulder to lean on, or somebody to speak to, somebody who knows because they've been through that just like you, they're there for you. I also have an assistant and I have experts to help you grow in virtue. I'm going to talk about that in a moment. Ritual process. Here's the ritual process. It's 90 days broken up into three phases. Phase one is initiation. It's pure austerity and challenge and pain. And you're going to suffer. Because if you don't suffer, you don't grow. A lot of fasting, a lot of dopamine detoxing, a lot of breaking away from things that you never thought that you could. And you don't have to use willpower because you got me and you got your community and you have your set away space to help you do it. There are a lot of challenging exercises. I won't get into all of them. But a lot of things that you're called to do on a daily basis for what? To break down the baby boy ego, to free yourself 
from the attachment to vice. This is our war on vice phase one. Phase two is transformation. And this is where we begin to work on elevating that atonement with God, the Father, the spiritual combat, gearing up for the long battle, for final perseverance, for phase three, which is for life. Stage two includes working on building yourself up in all the areas that are most important for you and your vocation as a man. As you break away from vice, you get to be built up in these areas virtuously so that you can continue on in life and not only be a generative man for the people around you, but for generations to come. And so when you join my program, you're in for life. That's my gift to you. You don't just join and 30 days you get something, 90 days you get something. No, you're joining my militia for life. I call it the monastic militia because we're living disciplined lives in this degenerate world. There's a monastic movement happening on the planet right now, but most men only have it halfway. It's not just about the disciplines of breaking free from addiction and effeminacy. It's about atonement with the father, atonement with your father and God the father meaning and purpose and pattern and mission and vision and generativity for life. So that sounds like something that might benefit you. If my story about rising and falling and the failure of success and not being able to break free, but knowing that there's more for you, there's more for me, and you want to explore, go to waronvice.com. Fill out the application and... Maybe I'll speak to you one-on-one, -on -one, mano y mano, old Uncle E and you, to see if we're a good fit. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this show today. I hope you receive some benefit from our conversation. I also hope to see you face-to-face -face on a call when you fill out that form on War on Vice. Because my work is not complete without you. And we're in this together. We're doing it. We're growing. Why? For generativity and the generations to come. If you're a high achieving businessman, executive, or entrepreneur who's dominating in business but struggle with drinking, drugs, overeating, or any filthy vice, here's some advice. The biggest mistake that you could make is to try to quit cold turkey and use willpower to overcome your cravings. If you've ever quit for a few days or a few weeks only to self-sabotage by binging worse than before, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Not only has my company helped thousands of men destroy vice and dominate life, I personally confronted and overcome the same struggles when I found myself hooked on weed at the peak of my business career. If you've got four minutes to listen to a coach who will help you achieve total self-mastery and control over your inner punk, then listen up. If you don't beat drinking, drugs, or any life-draining dependency in 90 days or less, not only will my company give you your money back, we'll pay for your first month's stay at a rehab retreat of your choice. That's what you need to succeed. So let's go, bro. Just visit waronvice.com fill out an application and my team will get back to you with the details. Hope to see you on the inside. Done.